Pat it dry with a paper towel. So this is a skinless pork belly. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta score this in a crotch attach pattern so that you leave little slits for the flavor from your rub to get down into the meat. You do that just on the fat side and not on the meat side. Oh, and also, you're gonna wanna start cooking this thing whole. You don't wanna cut it up into cubes because if you do and you season all the sides right from the beginning, all that salt and, and stuff gets down into the meat and it makes it taste like ham. And I like my pork belly to taste like pork, not necessarily like ham. Cover the meat in olive juice as a binder. I use my own dry rub blend, lovingly called Punch It In The Face Patrick, which I may go into later as to why I name it that. Um, but uh, it is what I use. You can use whatever kind of seasoning that tastes good to you. One thing I will say is that in my, my, uh, my rub, I use flour salt or popcorn salt. And I think it gets down into the meat a little bit better than regular table salt. Once you have coated both sides in dry rub and rubbed it in, let it sit for about 10 minutes for the dry rub to set on the meat. Now smoke it at 225 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour and a half to two hours, skin side down. And so after about two and a half hours now that this has been on, um, you can see that it shrunk up quite a bit and um, got some nice color in the bottom here. Looks very good. So we're gonna go cut this up and continue the cooking process. There's almost nothing as pretty as a nicely browned pork belly coming off of the smoker. So then this is all cut up in one and a half inch cubes. So then you take the cubes and haphazardly throw them on the, the, uh, the smoker one more time, but you're gonna crank the heat up to about 250 degrees and you're gonna leave them there for probably another hour and a half to two hours. So when the pork belly starts to firm up around the edges, it's time to take it off and put it in a pan. And so you want to get the pork belly bites to be about one layer thick in your pans. I had to use two pans to get it that way. But then uh, you, you want to cover them in foil. And the reason that you want them all in about a single layer, um, if you can get them that way, is because the juices that come out of them that are going to form in the bottom of this, you want the pork belly bites to kind of stew in that. That's gonna be delicious when it's done. So you put these in the oven at about 350 degrees uh, for about an hour. And so this is the finished product. Nice and caramelized. Uh, the fat has rendered into the bottom and uh, it, it, they're nice and juicy. And then I also paired them with a white Alabama barbecue sauce. And um, you can see those juices rolling out over the white sauce. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah, eating these, these are so good. They taste more like roasted pork than ham, and that's why I like this recipe.